cup of water. Wouldn't have thought twice about it if it wasn't for that day that Jesus sat the 12 of us down. It was a busy morning. We were all doing the business of his ministry. We were running errands, talking to the townspeople. And then he, um, he pulled us aside that afternoon in a quiet place. He spoke for a long time. There were no stories, there were no parables. He just spoke plain, painstakingly plain. The bottom line was this. He told us if we were to continue following him, things were gonna get dicey for us. That there could even be physical harm when we mentioned his name. He was not painting a pretty picture. But we all knew that uh, this is gonna be the price for carrying out his message. I put on my bold, bold, brave face and I nodded in agreement. But inside, I mean, I'm a tax collector, not a soldier. I, I don't know anything about courage or bravery. I couldn't be more ordinary. And I remember thinking, I wonder if Jesus knows how scared I am right now. Not a sparrow falls, he said, that is not in the Father's care. And how much more are we worth? <laughs> but it's this, it's this that got me. He said to us, if anyone does some simple act of kindness to us, his followers, even like a, giving us a, a cup of cold water, they will not lose the reward. That's how much he cared for us. If someone shows a simple act of kindness, even in the worst scenario, it meant something in heaven. Jesus said on the cross, I thirst. And that same cup of water he mentioned, we couldn't even give it to him. He was willing to die painfully, thirsty even, for our sake. And because of that, my courage grew. Not out of bravery, but from love.